by the Honorable Ignatius Shekhwameni, the President of the All People's Party and a Member of Parliament. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Talk of the Nation. Good evening. We are also joined by the Honorable Heiko Lux, a Member of Parliament and representing the Rally for Democracy and Progress. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Talk of the Good Nation. Good evening. Thank you very much. Then we also have a member of the Namibia Children's Parliament, the Honorable Norman Doyeka. Good evening, Norman. Good evening. Mr. Doyeka, I apologize, and welcome to Talk of the Nation. Thank you very much. Good evening. Last but not least, we have the Honorable Pamba Shifeta, the Deputy Minister of Environment and Tourism, also a member of Parliament, representing the Swapo Party this evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Talk of the Nation. Good evening. I'd like to cut straight to the chase, and really, you know what the theme is. Today is the International Day of Democracy with a focus on harnessing the power of the youth. Why do you think, Honorable Shifeta, is this important? Yes, um, it is important because um, uh, young people um, have to take decisions that are affecting them and their decisions for the future and present too. Uh, not only young people's uh, programs are uh, supposed to be in the mainstream, but also we must uh, make sure that young people become not only partners, but also become participants in the decision-making process. Uh, we are saying nothing should be done for the youth without the youth mm -hmm. participation, uh, because they have the unique ability, they can make decisions for themselves, they can influence political process. Uh, and uh, influence government uh, decisions. So therefore, we should uh, make sure that they are part and parcel of uh, decision making, not only partners in implementation of those decisions that have, have been made by the elder people, but uh, they should also be participants of uh, uh, the process, in the, within the process of democracy. Very good. Honorable Ndoyeka, I'd like to hear from you. Do you get a sense that as Namibia as a whole, do we involve the youth directly? Or do we just consult with you for appearances sake and later on we go and we do our own thing in any event? Or do you get a sense that you're really being heard? Um, honestly, we are not really, um, as the youth, we are not really taken seriously. And um, we are not consulted in most of the things that concern the youth. So what happened is the senior members, they just pass laws or they pass some things that are um, affecting the youth. And even <coughs> though we speak here and there, I'm not, I don't really to say we are not heard. Maybe we are heard, just that the, the action is not taken upon our, you know, our voices and the yes. rest of the things we've been saying so far. Honorable Lux, is this important for the insurance of uh, healthy democracies? Yes, Hilda, very much. If you, um, if you look at the demographics, and especially the demographics of, of Africa and Namibia, uh, where you have um, two-thirds of our population being under the age of 35. Um, so two-thirds of our population being what we call young people, and uh, they have specific needs, they have specific ideas about their future, and they need those, those ideas to, to be taken up by polit politicians. They need to be heard by politicians. They want to relate to politicians and want to know that politicians hear and understand what they are saying. 